Oh, I'm bored here on this lockdown stuff. Boring. Hello there. Is that there Moorish TV? It is Moorish TV. Oh, this is Hank Hill here. Need to know how to tune in at Moorish TV. Heard it's all good. It's on Saturday, 5 p.m. Enjoy. I'm gonna be enjoying all right. Well, first I need to discuss it with my family. Oh, God. Forgot to say how to tune in. And... Oh, damn it. Well, folks, eat your lunch. Moorish TV's starting. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Moorish TV Z. And Sapphire, we've got a great lineup today for you. We certainly have. We have got a fantastic lineup. None other than our own good correspondent from Wales. Oh, it's Captain Beanie. Yes, the Bean Master will be back all the way from Port Talbot at the Baked Bean Museum. We've also got uh, music from Luke Norfolk and Lucy May. Great band. Yes. We've got to hear this. Uh, we've got some special doctors appearing. Um, I think it's something to do doctors? with the NHS. Yeah, we'll find out oh. what that is. They seemingly sent in a video to us. We've got a talent show judge or is it oh wow. wow looking forward to that all the way from los angeles we have got the wonderful fantastic josh stevens who's worked with snoop dogg and lmfao to name but few do you think he could be related to us could be but he's, he's got a v i think <laughs> but never mind. oh well <laughs> oh and and guess who's cooking up a stone for us this week the celebrity chef John Quill. Oh. oh, Brill with John Quill. Look to find out what he's going to be cooking up for us this week on Moorish TV. And of course, fresh from his stint on Britain's Got Talent, this death defying man who walked through balls of fire and survived to tell the tale and speak to us on Moorish TV. It's none other than. Oh, it's definitely. Kevin, Quantum, and I wonder if he's got any shoes left. I don't know, but he's going to be Quantum <laughs> leaping right on the show, and that's the most important thing. And of course, we've got Anna, and Anna is a lovely lady who sings opera music, and she is going to be performing the track Bring Him Home. I love opera. It's a perfect song for the NHS and stuff like that as well. Oh, it'll send you to tears, so you better have your tissues beside you. Oh yeah, of course. Of course, Beanie's going to be doing his celebrity birthdays, and if we've got any announcements to make, which I'm sure we have, we'll be doing that as well. Absolutely. So anyway, um, just to let you guys know, we are now, and now um, working with and of course we're endorsed as the um, celebrity sort of ambassadors as you speak. Patrons. Patrons, yes that's the same word as well yes. but a different posture word, okay. Um, for the uh, WCM Horse Rescue Foundation and it's about rescue horses that's run by James Cameron and Simon Mackenzie Monroe who spoke to us last week about that and um, we decided yes we could do that for them. Um, and we're, we're out to try and raise as much funds as possible for the rescue horses as in this time of need when we're going through lockdown and the COVID-19 thing, these horses need fed as much as we do. Oh, absolutely. I mean, a bag of food, anything could cost anything between 10 and 20 pounds. Yeah. And that would be gratefully received as someone out there had heart and helped the little horses out. Yeah, and they're at www.wcmhorserescuefoundation.com. You'll see at the bottom of the screen mm -hmm. as I'm speaking. And um, here's some of those lovely horses. I've got something to tell you, something that isn't true. I've got a place to visit. Well, well, well. And if you're looking for readings from James Cameron, who's an international medium as well, and he speaks to the people from the other side. Oh, and Simon Monroe. And Simon Mackenzie Monroe. You get a double reading there for a fixed price and a very good price as well. I can't remember the price, but they'll 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 jot it down on the uh, if you get in touch with them. They're yes. always on our page, and they'll give you they'll give you a reading. And if you just put something towards the horses, and so when win all round, fantastic. It is. You can't lose. Talking about charities, there is another great charity that's close to our heart as well, and it's called the Safe Haven Egypt. Now, Safe Haven in Egypt is about cats. It is. It's about um, abandoned cats, cats that have been found in the street, injured, and um, Safe Haven, you know, they, they pay for the vets and things like that through donations and stuff like yeah. that. 
but the, the good thing is that we've adopted a cat from there and because of the lockdown thing and the flights etc we didn't get our little rainbow cat the little Persian yeah but rainbow will be with us at some time in due course and when he is he'll be on this very very show presenting Aww. Well, not really talking, but you never know. I know, he'll be here. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you visit Safe Haven Egypt on their Facebook page, and remember the uh, Safe Haven Cats from Egypt, there's a lot of people adopting all around the UK. They're a legit uh, charity business from over they in are. Egypt. Uh -huh. They're wonderful people, and we've got to know a lot of these people. And if you want, a f if you want to go to the Facebook page and uh, sponsor a cat or donate to them, you can do that. It's simple enough it, by back transfer or even by your PayPal account. It it be gratefully appreciated for any yeah, donations for them. Because we've um, gave some money, you know, for sponsor and yeah. things for some cats that have came in and they need fed and things like that. So we've done that ourselves off our own back, and uh, it makes you feel good when you've done something like that. It certainly does. Right. So we're going over to um, Port Talbot now. Uh, we're going to see what's happened with Captain Beanie. Last Sunday, the Bean Master... I keep calling him the Bean Master. I wonder what he thinks of that. <laughs> but Captain, he is a master of beans. He is a master of beans, yes. It's not Heinz or HP. Sorry, get out of the shops. This man is going to drop, pile drop you. Right through a can of beans. But um, Captain Beanie in Port Talbot in Wales, he um, raised a lot of money last week. Um, on Sunday, right after the show on Saturday, and he done a run around um, his area in Port Talbot to raise money for Click Sergeant, and he he raised uh, he raised a lot of money. He did, he did and well. what it was, he, he did twenty six laps. Yes, he did round so, um, you know the square in front of his home and, and the two point six challenge. Yes, the, that one, and he done really well because we were watching him. And remember, <laughs> this man is in his mid sixties. And he's got more right left than his leg right. What does that mean? It means he's got two good legs. Ah. He's quicker than the bionic man. He's the a bionic good man's, bean. bionic man's older. Mm. Right, let's see the runner being in action and see what he got up to last Sunday. Over to Captain Beanie. Hi there, Zed and Sapphire. How are we? I hope you're all so full of beans, you pair. And guess what? Um, yes, I did manage to run that 2.6 beans on Toastathon last Sunday. And um, there we are. I didn't even spill a plate of beans on toast. Because that's why they were stuck on. Anyway, here's this wee clip now of my Nickel Formidable Fun Run on behalf of, oh yes, Click Sergeant Charity. Marvellous. We raised well over £2,000 thanks to yourself and many countless human beings. So anyway, I'm going to spill the beans now with that little clip. So, it's a case of up, up and away and see you soon, Zed and Sapphire. What number are we going with? I don't know. Let's go with 15. What could be 16? So there we have it, Zed and Sapphire, another charity stunt in the beanbag. So all it remains for me to say, over to you, at your home, Zed and Sapphire. See you soon. Mm, love you both. Well, Captain Beanie done well. Oh, he done extremely well. And so proud. I'm so proud of him and his community was there and they were all you know, spaced out and they were just clapping away and just egging them on. It was the, really good. Now, when, when she says they were spaced out, we mean they were well, spaced out. Well, I spaced out as in They kept distance, their distance, yes. You know what I mean. They would all go like this right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's great. Anyway, you couldn't make it up on a TV show like this because we're all Moorish. That's what it's about. Moorish TV. But, um, yeah, Captain Beanie's got a cushion of a great man as well who does a lot for charity and has done a lot for charity over the past three or four weeks, uh, Captain Tom Moore, 
who now has his 100th birthday just passed on Thursday there. Wow. And he got a card from the Queen and she has made him a colonel now. Oh, my goodness. He's so proud of that, more than anything else he's been doing, even the walking. He loves that because he's a military man at heart. Yeah, he's such a humble yeah. man and he only wanted to start off with like a thousand pounds yeah. or something yeah. like that. Now he's got like 30 million. 30 plus. million. 30 million. Oh plus. my goodness, he deserves everything. Well, <laughs> the planes flew over the, the Lancaster bomber and the Spitfire and, oh. and he must have been in awe and an emotion in his birthday and his daughter and his... Everybody that's what seen that. What a treat. What a treat for Wonderful. his birthday. Well deserved. Well done, Colonel Tom Moore. We still salute you. You are a gem. And you've got a, a train star. named after you now as well. And you're still, oh. at, still at number one in the chart, so keep it up. Good stuff. <laughs> Moving on from one great man to another great rap artist now. This is our first musical artist of the day, so sit back, relax, grab yourself a cup of tea. Enjoy yourself. Or as Beanie would say, a bean colada. Enjoy yourself, as Safa would say. And who is our musical actor? Well, we've actors. got artists. We've, artists. Artists. Well, the artists today that we've got is Luke Norfolk and Lucy May, and they're wow. absolutely brilliant. They're a duo. Really and, good. And um, they're, they're a bit of rapping there, isn't there? Rapping and singing it sort of takes you back to the sort of Eminem and Dido sort of thing. And it that gave me rap. that kind of yeah. feel, and that's what I liked about it. And to ask them if they would like to be on the show. Yeah, and of course, Sapphire played it to me. Me being a rapper, I fell in love with the song right away and said, "Yes, let's get them on." So um, we're going to go over to Link right now, and we'll get Luke Norfolk who's going to introduce his song and uh, say hello. How are you, Luke Norfolk? Over to you, Luke. Uh, guys, how are we all doing? I hope you're all having a good one. I'm Luke Norfolk. Just like to give a massive shout out to Z and Sapphire at Morris TV for playing one of our new tracks. Um, it's Faded by Luke Norfolk and featuring Lucy May. You can find us on all social. You can find the track itself available on all major platforms, Spotify, Apple Music. You can press and ask Siri to play Luke Norfolk Faded and it'll find it for you, or she'll find it for you, which is cool. Um, we are part of Together, which is Together Records, is a company set up by myself and Lucy to help and inspire any young budding artist or anybody that's not got the financial backing behind them to get into music, please come and contact us. So find us on all social music. Um, look forward to hearing from you and I hope you enjoy the track. I love you. No matter what goes on in life, you know that your daddy will always fight for you. I will always be here. I promise you that. Cross my heart and hope to die as I saw the fear.
hope to die Promise you that in my life I will never stop for you I'll fight even though right now I feel like I'm Fading into I'm fading into you Fading into you I'm fading into you What a wonderful artist that man is, and that, that lady, what a yeah, great track. A great duo, and I fair enjoyed that, and yeah. hope you enjoyed it too. Yeah, because we've got more coming up on the show, and remember, um, the links were all across, scrolling underneath the video there, so if you want to visit them um, and, and download the tracks, if there were any for download, and you can also get them on YouTube and Facebook. Follow them, like them, they're brilliant. Uh, we've got more music coming up on the show with Josh Stevens from LA. He is a Grammy Award winning star with Step Dog, LMFAO, I'm sexy and I know. Oh, he's quite famous. He wrote that. And he's got a great video to go with he it He certainly today. has. And um, we're going to go into a link to him soon to speak to him. And of course, we've got Anna at near the end of the show as well. And she's singing a beautiful opera, a version of the lovely music track, Bring Him Home, which is brilliant for the NHS thing today. What I like about Anna is um, she's so great with the opera stuff. Yeah. I mean, honestly, she knows a lot of opera songs and I respect her for that. And yeah. that's really good. I love singing. I love singing, but I love Anna. Yeah, of I course. Do. So we'll see Anna the, the, in, in the show through, near the end of the show, actually. I think it, she's going to be up because she's fantastic near the end. And then we're going to, off, um, going to of course, give you a preview of another artist who will be on next week's show and let you know some of the things that are happening next week. So we're all excited here. Yes. <laughs> um, right, and talking about TV, um, there is a great show that's on Sky Atlantic. If you can get Sky Atlantic, and if you're on Now TV, you get Sky Atlantic free as well. And it's uh, titled The Gangs of London, starring Joe Cole, who played one of the boys from Peaky Blinders. Oh. And he is a sort of posher spoken gangster, but a very violent boy. He is a very polite guy on this. I couldn't believe it was the same guy. Because yeah. in Peaky Blinders, he's very sort of common, you know, that kind of Manchester feel about it, which I love, by the way, the accent. Um, so we will be seeing a lot of him in all these episodes because oh, yeah. we've still got a lot to go. Yeah, I think we've got four episodes left. It's still a lot, though, because they're going for over an hour. Mm. But the violence and that and stuff, it's not for kids at all. It's not. Um, nope. It's definitely an adult sort of viewing and of course it could have been a movie but i'm glad it's not because there's so many hours you can get through in a box set absolutely love it so there we are i'm talking about tv and stuff like that and the nhs which runs in with beanie and tom moore and all the fundraising for the nhs and the claps were doing every thursday yeah so we felt we needed some doctors on yeah yes. yeah so we put the feelers out and some doctors got together and done this brilliant video for us didn't they it's a great video as you probably know we have all been, at one time or another, the doctor. 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 And the doctor abides by one simple code. Whatever problem you're facing. Never be cruel or cowardly. Never give up and never give in. We are at our best when we work together. Tonight, we have all come together. 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 For one important reason. To praise, salute, and give heartfelt thanks to 
real life special doctors, nurses, and everyone, everyone working on the front lines in our NHS, and care homes, and hospices. What you all do and have done for all of us is amazing, is crucial, phenomenal, incredible, inspirational, and truly life saving. Thank you. 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 Well, well, that was something. I never expected that. All the Doctor Who's. The, All doctors. the doctors. Now I get it. The doctors. The young ones, the old ones. Yes, the the ones that are in present date. Yeah, different generations. Tom Baker as well. Oh, wow. I loved it. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much to the doctors for getting that over to us. Wonderful stuff. And of course, the NHS doctors, thank you as well for what you're doing. Maybe get some of yous coming on the show and jumping round in a TARDIS. <laughs> um, right, now we've got a special guest coming up, um, all the way from a talent show judging seat. So we you. Mm. So we're going to go over to the slink and find out exactly who this is and what it is, because we're, we're, we're in the, the... we don't know. It's, it's just like, oh my God, we're in the dark here. But it's going to unfold. So let's find out. Let's go over to the link right now. Hello. Hi guys, do you know what? It's a privilege for Zed and Sapphire to have me on the show. I'm glad to be with you. Just taking time out here in the dressing rooms of Britain's Got Talent to say hi and uh, welcome you to Moorish TV. Isn't it great? They've uh, had so many different things on the show and they're keeping it interesting and lively and that makes good television. So, I'm trying to socially distance myself from David Williams during the uh, lockdown. It's proving rather difficult keeping him six foot away at any time. Right, guys, sit back, enjoy Moorish TV. I'm going to have to get back to the rehearsals, but in the meantime, enjoy the show. Brilliant. It's a yes from me. Wow, <laughs> Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell. Oh, I enjoyed that. I really did. That cheered me up. <laughs> that made my day. That made my day. <laughs> and of course, um, Simon Cowell there is really a Simon Cowell lookalike by the name of Andy Monk. Yes. Who who will tell you a little bit about what he's done. And we'll show a little video of him introducing himself. And of course, there'll be another follow-up video on Andrew, and Andy Monk because he's very interested. That'll be on next week's show as well. Well, you're going to call him oh. Andrew. Andrew Monk, maybe that's his real name. Andrew Monk, old chap. But I think he likes school. Andy, Andy Monk, yeah, Andy. yeah, yeah. And he was in the chipping doubles on Britain's Got Talent. He was as Ten well. Ten years ago yes. to this very day. With Gordon Ramsay and all the Gordon yeah, Ramsay, Mr. T. T. Oh, crazy. Oh, goodness Good me. times, good times. Yeah. When, when the show was even better, I think, um, at some point. Uh, but, um, yeah, let's, um, let's go back to Andy Monk. And, uh, Andy, over to you.
So guys, don't forget to tune in to Moorish TV with Zed and Sapphire. Brilliant. Take care, guys. Stay safe and keep locked down. Well. Ah, I love that. Andy oh, Monk. That's Andy. brilliant. Thank you for that. Thank you, Andy. And, and there's more to come yes, next week yes, as there's, well. There's a part two to this in which he's going to discuss how he went from the chipping doubles and doing all his work as a Simon Cowell lookalike and how it's changed his life in certain ways as well. Oh, it's so, going to be very interesting. Very interesting, yes. to say the least. Of course, um, we have got a birthday mention right now. We've done a mention for the Safe Haven Cat People, the charity and stuff. And um, we'll do that again, Safe Haven, and Facebook, raise some money for them. And of course, uh, the Horse Foundation that we are working with as well. We'll mention that at the end of the show. But right now, a uh, birthday mention was that he and come in. Uh, we'd like to wish a happy 52nd birthday this week Ooh. to Andrew Lodian. Uh, who gets called happy birthday. Andy Lodian. <laughs> of course, happy birthday, Andy, um, to you. And I um, hope you had a fantastic day. Um, of course, you can't do too much in these uh, days, but in your no. surroundings with your your partner and your family and maybe uh, a home. beer if you like a beer yeah. and just sit back in your garden and enjoy what you can. Enjoy I suppose, what you can, yeah. yeah. And yeah. have have a drink while you're watching this show as well, Andy, because this show is full of great stuff. That's a good plan. So there you go. Happy birthday, Andy, and happy fifty second birthday as well. Um, right, uh, anybody else needs a birthday mention, remember to get in touch on our Facebook page. We have got a page, get on the page and like it. Um, and of course, we've also got our group page on Facebook, which is incidentally placed on the Facebook page. And you can share all your comments and views and what you'd like to see on the show. Oh. Or if you're in a band, get in touch as well. Any suggestions are gratefully yep. received. We like feedback. Oh, we do like feedback. Yeah. Right. Now, we're on to our next musical artist, and this is a wonderful musical artist. Um, he's all the way from Los Angeles, California, in the United States of America. That was a long line. I could have done that better than Donald Trump. In fact, I wouldn't do it better than Donald Trump because he drinks bleach. Oh, right. No. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, Josh Stevens is a wonderful artist, and he's worked with uh, the likes of and written for them and produced music for them, as well as being his own artist now. LMFAO, the song Sexy. I love that band. Yeah, Sexy and You Know It. Mm, That's Josh involved thank you for there. Saying so. <laughs> and of course, um, he's worked with Warren G, who goes all the way back, and Snoop Dogg. And everybody loves a bit of Snoop Dogg. Oh, I love a bit of Snoopy Dogg. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot, lots more artists on him. Uh, you, you'll see his um, social media links and stuff at the bottom of his music video, which he is going to link in with us right now, all the way from LA. So let's hi. Link. Yes, hi there, Josh, all the way from Los Angeles. How are you doing? What up, Z and Sapphire? Thanks for having me on. I'm Josh Stevens here in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, just quarantining with the rest of the world. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. Thanks for having me on. Um, I'm looking a little tired these days. Uh, I have a six month more old in quarantine, so uh, yeah. But hey, check out the new song, Home, and the video, and thanks for having me on. Much love. Peace. Another late night, another late show, just deaf noise, where's the remote? So numb, it's the calm down, used to talk all
Stevens, you are a marvellous entertainer. I enjoyed that and I want more. Yep. So uh, we are in contact with Josh on Facebook and stuff and spoke to him and he, he wanted to come on the show. What a lovely and, guy. And you know, everybody seems to th tell us we're doing a wonderful job. And if you lot think we're doing a wonderful job, you want to keep us to keep going, let's do this. Let's keep it going. Because this is a chat show and a magazine entertainment show unlike no other. Because we want more than TV because... Because we can have more on our TV show and we're going to have such famous people on it and it's going to be great. Because we're Moorish, that's why. A yeah. little bit Moorish, that's what you need. Right, um, right now we are going to have, um, have a special guest. This is the first time we've featured on the show anybody that's involved in the cooking business mm, of I'm course cooking. we certainly do mm. and cooking up a storm for us this week is none other than the wonderful chef john, john quill. quill wow he is a wonderful man yes because i know he makes delicious foods because i've oh, seen yeah. his pages yep. and i'm just like oh i wish i could have that <laughs> well, Chef John Quill has agreed to be on the show and he's spoken to us briefly and sent up a Facebook post even of the dish he's going to be doing. Mm. But we won't tell you what it is. Just don't eat your TV. You'll miss no, the show. it's for your eyes only. Yes. And you know, when you see food, you just want to eat it. Ah, uh, yeah, but if you eat the TV, you're going to crack your teeth. Uh -oh. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go over to Chef John Quill and see what he's cooking for us this week. I'm very excited about this. Oh, I wonder what it is. Really excited. Over to you, Chef John Quill. How are you doing, Chef? Hi. Hi, um, I'm Chef John Quill. Thank you, Zed and Sapphire, for having me. Um, when I'm not cooking for VIPs and celebrities, I help people with cooking demonstrations. And uh, today, we're going to be doing a very quick and easy omelette. Now, you say omelette. Quite a few people come to me that haven't, uh, that haven't been able to make the omelettes quite right. So we're going to do it quick and easy. Um, what you're going to need is we're going to need three eggs which I've got here. I'm going to crack them into a bowl. One. I'm going to change my angle. There we go. Two. He says there we go. You can tell this is a live video. And then three. Three eggs in. I'm going to wash my hands quickly. Because it's a raw egg. Always wash your hands when you've been uh, touching eggs or raw meat etc. Okay, so I've got my three eggs in there, okay? 
They're, this is the mistake people make, they've put milk in. Whereas what we need to do is we need to put three dessert spoons full of water in there as well. And that would mean that if you had two eggs, it would be two dessert spoons full, one egg, one dessert spoon, etc., etc. So for however many eggs you're using, you need to um, put one dessert spoon full of water. I'm going to preheat my hob and get it nice and hot there. And I'm going to put a dessert spoon full again of olive oil in there just to warm up. So I've got my three eggs, my three dessert spoons full, a knob of butter. I'm going to whisk them up now. So I've got my hob on now, getting my, my pan nice and hot. And today my filling is going to be cheese, ham, and for everybody that knows me, I do like my chilli. But I'm not going to put chilies in there. I'm going to whack some hot pepper and Kona sauce in there. So that's well mixed there, see? Get rid of that. Salt and pepper to taste. There we are. Ready to go into the pan. So I'm getting my pan nice and hot now. There's my grated cheese and my ham all chopped up, ready to go. And my Ancona hot pepper sauce. There we are. If any of you would like to follow me on Instagram, uh, it's uh, chef underscore john underscore quill. Um, I'm also on Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, and really pleased to be, uh, to be invited by Zed and Sapphire onto the, uh, onto the show. There we are. Getting them nice and hot there. On the pan. On a nice hot pan. So we can go straight in and we keep the mix mixing. We put the filling in and then we fold it over. There we go, that's lovely. So I'm gonna go in with my eggs. There we are. The most common mistake, like I said, is people tend to put milk into their mix and not water, whereas an omelette mix is water and a scrambled egg mix is milk, okay? So I'm gonna get that moving around. So I've got my omelette in the pan there, lovely and hot. And what I've done is I've got a little watercress garnish salad there. I prefer watercress than lettuce because it's got a nice pepperiness to it. I've got some cherry tomatoes and some cucumber on there as well. And this is lovely, it's nearly ready to go. And there we are. I'm gonna turn my plate slightly and get this. It hasn't got to be perfect. Sometimes they'll, they'll break up and split, as long as the flavors are all in there punching. There we are, guys. This is what we've got. And that's your omelette. So, thank you again uh, for watching. Um, I hope uh, you, you take the tip of the water instead of the milk. It'd be great to hear from you. I'm on uh, Instagram, chef underscore uh, John underscore Quill and Facebook, LinkedIn, and, and hopefully see you guys all again soon um, on Moorish TV. Take care. Speak to you soon. Well, that takes me back. The omelette looked beautiful, honestly. Lovely. But see when we were on Chopping Block, yep. on the TV, we had to make an omelette. We certainly did. And we had to make it in about three minutes or something, yep. and uh, we had our contestants... And I would say that we didn't do quite badly because no. everyone can make an omelette, but yeah. John, yours is good. Yes, a stuffed omelette as well. Wow, and he I likes know. his pepper. I like your hot pepper stuff. We love that, mate. Honestly, Chef John Quill, you are... The you master are of cooking. The master. Yes. We bow down to you and we soak the pepper through our nose and sneeze out again. Ooh. I, I like can't it. imagine that happening. Keep away from me. <laughs> especially, <laughs> in this, <laughs> especially in this climate. But yeah, uh, we're going to have an announcement about Chef John Quill near the end of the show again. What is it? And it's not that it's going to post uh, an omelette to us, so don't worry. No. And, and remember, like the chef said, um, thank you again, Chef, for that wonderful video. Thank you again. Uh, for coming on the show. It's wonderful. And there'll be an announcement about you later, which we will make ourselves. And of course... Um, Chef John Quill has, has stated, you know, try and make it yourselves. It'd be nice uh, to see if anybody could do it, and we'll put it on next week's show. All the pictures of all your cooking disasters and your cooking 
expertise. Yes, yeah, so remember the milk is for the scrambled egg and the water, the little teaspoons and things like that are just for the omelette. Yeah, one per egg. Ah, one so you were paying attention. One tablespoon full per egg. Yeah. So, <laughs> he was paying attention. This is a first for me. Congratulations. You can make me some Congratulations. later. Yeah, I could do that as well. Well, you've seen Chef John Quill giving out all his uh, social media. Get in touch with him. Get on his pages. See what he makes. Up. Um, he's got lots of great dishes going on. And uh, as I said, special announcement about Chef John Quill in the end of the show. Excited? Stay tuned then. Excited. 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 With one tablespoon full of water at each egg site. Right. So you just keep that in mind. I will Because I'll keep it in mind that you're going to make me something. That's right. And talking about food, I'm going to show you how to destroy a rocket ice lolly as well in a wee while. So that's going to be interesting. Um, you just throw it out the window. Is that when you lose your teeth? Well, that's the person that eats a telly. Never mind me, never mind me. Let's go on anyway. Um, we have got a very special star guest, another star guest coming on the show right now. And uh, if you watch Britain's Got Talent and you're watching it tonight, if you watched it last week though, or, or you want to watch it and catch up after this, you will see the next guest. Yes, he's a Scottish entertainer. He appeared in Britain's Got Talent on Saturday last oh. week, walking through balls of fire. Wow, and he still had his shoes. He's a scientist and he's a magician and he knows his craft. And he's actually teaching kids for free as well on YouTube. That is wonderful. He'll During the lockdown, I mean, he's keeping the kids amused by, you know, showing them little tricks. He says he's going to tell us all about it, so mm. I'm looking forward to that. But it's Kevin Quantum. Yes, it Kevin is. Quantum. And he's going to tell you how he knows us. He's met us a few times at some magic festivals and stuff. And he said he promises not to uh, dob us in, whatever that means. But I'm looking forward to hearing from Kevin. Oh, I wonder <laughs> if he's going to dob us in. Well, do you, we'll want to, do you want to ask him if he's there? <laughs> Hi, are you there, Kevin? Magical up here, my friend. Up here. Hey, how's it going, Dean Sapphire? Thank you so much for having me on Morris TV. Really do appreciate it. Uh, as you know, it has been an amazing month for me with Britain's Got Talent. I've been doing my free lockdown magic lessons for kids. And I've also got um, a live Zoom show that I'm doing at the end of the month. And uh, I want to tell you all about that. So I want to teach you a magic trick, tell you about my Britain's Got Talent thing and uh, maybe then try and get you to, to, to sign up to see my, my live show next month. But first of all, Britain's Got Talent, yeah, so you probably saw me on BGT. Hope you enjoyed that. There was 10 swinging cannonballs on fire. I did a, an act that I'm known for. It's, um, <clears throat> my stage name is Kevin Quantum. Uh, so if you search on YouTube for Kevin Quantum, you'll find the video of me walking through these massive swinging cannonballs of fire and hopefully not getting hit. Uh, the judges seem to really enjoy it and Indeck really enjoyed it. Fingers crossed I'll be through to the next round. Um, super scary, super exciting act to do on stage and a really amazing experience being part of Britain's Got Talent. So it's just... <clears throat> It's just a bit weird having all of it happen during lockdown. As you can see, I'm in a deserted uh, part of Edinburgh on my daily walk and I thought I'd just get my phone out and record a quick couple of minutes video with you guys um, since, you, since you called. So yes, <clears throat> Brains with Talent, four yeses from Simon, amazing experience. Um, almost got hit by a 10 kilogram cannonball on fire, but managed to get through unscathed. Next round will be, if we do get that to happen, will be even more spectacular, even more dangerous, even more amazing. Um, but also, um, in addition to that, since lockdown started, I've been doing free magic lessons for kids. So I wanna teach you one of those lessons now. This is good if you've got a kid, or if you've got an Instagram channel, you wanna do something silly, or you wanna um, uh, just show your pal something a bit, a bit weird. Now, I think most of us have probably all seen the finger trick. I think you've seen the finger trick when you get your, your thumb and you go like this. Yeah, you've, you've seen that before. Um, if you don't, if you haven't, don't worry about it. It's pretty cool. I'm going to give you a lesson how to do it, but I'm also going to teach you phase two of that trick. The next level, the trick that ups the finger trip to, to a different round. But first of all, I'll teach you the finger trick. So how does that work? You get your thumb and you get your other thumb and you bend them. So they fit together like that, knuckle to knuckle. So you make almost like a new thumb 
that's how it looks on the side. And you wrap that finger around there in front, and then you slowly, I'm, I'm looking at my thumb rather than the camera, rather than the, the camera at the moment. My, my, you slowly lift your finger up just like that and pop it back down. And as you pull that finger away, as your finger goes up, this one comes up at the same time. So that's how it looks in slow motion there and there. And that's, that's the best way to do that trick. So if you've ever seen it and you've wondered why people don't buy it, why kids don't get it, do it like that. Put your thumbs up like this, do it this way around and then slowly pull away like this. If someone's giving you abuse, if you're out and about and you want to do the, uh, if you want to give them abuse back, then you can do the version I designed for comedy clubs. This is my own modification on the thumb trick, which looks a bit like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. That's magic for, for screw you just right there. I hope you, hope you like that one. Or, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know why I'm doing all these, uh, these dodgy ones for you. But anyway, yes, round two of the thumb trick. This is the other one I wanted to teach you. And it looks a bit like this. So you look at your thumb, you get it all lined up, then you take your other hand, you wrap your fingers around it, and then you, oh, Pull your thumb all the way up there and then push it back on again, just like that. Some of you may have already worked out the secret. That's okay. If you show that to kids, they will freak out for a second or two. So uh, how does that work? So basically, as you have your hand and your thumb like this, bring that hand down, karate chop it 90 degrees from one hand onto the other, and then slowly wrap your fingers round. And as you wrap your fingers round, you pull that down behind. And then you just move it all the way up to your elbow. Your eyes follow the hand where the thumb's meant to be. Pull it all the way back again. Thumb reappears as you just reverse that motion. Open your hand up. You can see where the thumb is. And that is the amazing thumb trick. Number two, if you want to learn more magic tricks like that, go to youtube.com slash Kevin Quantum or go to my website, kevinquantum.com and I will give you 40 free magic lessons for you, for ages kids, six and upwards, or even for adults that are interested in magic. No fancy props needed. You can get everything in your stationary drawer or your dry recycling box. And if you like those lessons, if you enjoy learning from me, Guinness World Record Breaker, trained by Penn and Taylor, four yeses from the uh, judges in Britain's Got Talent, then do check out my live Zoom show that goes out at the end of May, on the 28th of May, two days before my 40th birthday. It's an intimate show for 40 people only. I'll be showing, it's called this trick that fooled, and I'll be showing you the tricks that fooled the smartest people that have ever lived on the planet Earth. Einstein, Bill Gates, Jobs, Churchill, a whole bunch of really super smart people. These are magic tricks that fooled them in the last few years or when they were alive. And let's see if they fool you as well. If that's interesting for you, then check out again my website, kevinquantum.com. You can get tickets there. But generally speaking, it's a real pleasure to be back in Edinburgh. It's great to be um, on your show. I really, uh, really appreciate the support you guys have given myself and the Magic Festival over the years. There's never been a Magic Festival. Uh, if you don't know the Magic Festival, it's an event that usually runs every year in Edinburgh. It's starting to rain now. <laughs> I'm outside. I should have done this in inside. Um, Z and Sapphire have been to every single Magic Festival launch party that we've ever organised. Those guys really love a party, don't you Z and Sapphire? So thanks so very much for that. Thanks for spreading the good news about Magic Fest. Thanks for inviting me on your show. My name's Kevin Quantum. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Kevin Quantum. Even on TikTok, I've got an account. Even though I've got no videos on it yet, I'm going to work out how to use it soon. Take it easy. Well, wasn't it wonderful seeing Kevin Quantum? Yeah, and well, all he done was dubbed us in just saying that we love to party. Oh, we do, but yeah. I don't mind that because it's true. We do love to party. Well, we're invited to a lot of these celebrity launches and different sort of things like the Magic Fest, the Fringe parties, the TV festival parties. We've done the film fest, everything. Oh, everything. At a launch party, you always get a little drink and some <laughs> nibbles and things like that. So that's good. It's always a, a nice little party when they've got that. Yeah, because I take it to the next level, but never mind. Well, do you know something? <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Yeah, magic tricks. Would love to learn some myself. Mm, I would. I would love to do a magic trick. Oh, it's, you know when you're gonna. I think. Yeah. I feel like there's a magic trick coming on. Well, there you go. I learned a magic trick. Thank you for that, Kevin. I really, it's rubbing off on me, but you know something, it's nice to just have a few minutes on my own just to talk away to you guys. Well, oh, that's been a bit raw, isn't it? Do you think I should bring them back? I feel lonely. This lockdown's getting really worse. I need to have them back because I'm starting to feel lonely. Well, right, okay, I'll bring them back. <laughs> so where did Where's you go to? Me? You no. got transported into another place, didn't you? I don't know where I went, but... 
I think I landed on a toilet somewhere. <laughs> what was that all about anyway? Why did you do that? <laughs> I just thought, well, it'd just be nice just to feel, you know, on my own. And then I felt a bit lonely I Well, if you're getting rid of me, land me in a pub that's empty that's under lockdown, then they go throw me in a loo. And then I'd never see you. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. That's very, I've done the lockdown for years there. <laughs> A pirate ship bear than everything. <laughs> anyway, folks, I hope you're enjoying the show. We're here every Saturday with fun and entertainment on this magazine show because we are Moorish TV with Zed. And Sapphire, and it's a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. And yep. if you if you miss the show, you can watch this on Catch Up Repeat after it's just finished. And you will see everything that's been going on. We've had some great stars on the show. We have. And uh, lots more coming on. And I think now we have to go over to yes. Port Talbot again. Yes, down to Wales. Going down to Wales. Oh, God, mate. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. That's that lo- thing that you've done to me. Oh, well. Singing in the toilet. Right. Anyway, Captain Beanie in Port Talbot. Let's go over there and find out what he's got in store for us again. What have you been up to? Hi there, my name is Captain Beanie and I live in Port Talbot here on the south coast of South Wales. Captain Tom Moore. What more is there to be said? Amazing, awesome, astonishing. Sir, you are a credit to our nation. And all because you've raised £28 million and it's still climbing. All on behalf of the great National Health Service in the UK. So, Captain Tom Moore, what can one say is just to salute you, sir, and wish you all the very best wishes on your birthday, 100 years, on the 30th of April 2020. So, all it remains for me, as Captain Beanie, is to wish you all the best, and God bless you, sir. Captain Tom Moore, we would love to share this poem to you, sir. It's written by a dear good friend of ours called Derek Davis, who also resides in Port Talbot. It goes something like this. Raise your glass to our hero, Captain Tom Moore. His goal to raise some money for our NHS we adore. This former army veteran set out boldly on that quest. 100 laps around the garden, would he stand up to the test? 100 laps, age 99, with his birthday looming fast. 1,000 pounds his target, but that target soon was passed. On and on he boldly walked, with a nation by his side. Millions and millions of pounds later, that nation's now filled with pride. So much pride in one so caring, so much love for our NHS. Captain Tom Moore, we salute you. You're our hero and you're the best. Thank you so much, sir. Captain Tom Moore, what more is there to be said? Just this, of a very fantastic 100th birthday on the 30th of April 2020. So from a captain, from a people of Port Talbot, Wales, UK, have a fantastic one, sir. We all salute you. Well, thank you very much, Captain Binny. Binny. Well, Binny will be here every week, and um, he is our Welsh correspondent for the whole UK, of course, as well. Absolutely. He supports the NHS and everything, um, like we all do. Everybody's in lockdown down there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all in lockdown. Mm-hmm. And if you're in lockdown, you should be tuning into Morris TV. Don't sit there biting your wife's toenails and chewing them. No. It's disgusting. <laughs> Get a bowl of chips and start chewing them instead. They look ah. like toenails anyway. Oh no. Right, anyway. Um we have <laughs> Don't know what that's all about, but never mind. Salt and pepper on your feet. <laughs> you just now. put me off chips now. <laughs> yes, I'll be chewing her feet when we're over. Right, Jesus Christ, there's cheese on there. Right. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, anybody that's watching the show will know about Simon Cowell, who was on earlier on the show. Um, this is Simon Cowell 2. 
What's ah. Simon Cowell too? We've got two We've Simon Cowell. Two Simons? We have. Well, let's go over to Simon Cowell part two. Find out a little bit more. Hi, Zed. Hi, Sapphire. Absolutely love it being here. Um, absolutely fantastic job you're doing with Morris TV. Keep it up. It's certainly working. Um, the audience is building. So keep it going. A big yes from me. Now, guys, what can we say? Going at the moment through this awful time. Um, look at us all. Long hair. Doesn't look good. Um, but you know what, guys? We've got the strength. We can get through this. Um, follow the guidelines. Keep a safe distance. Get this coronavirus out of the way. We can all then get back to what we normally do and what we enjoy doing, entertaining people. Um, not really very much at all going on, very much like most of you guys. Um, been lucky enough that a film I, I was honoured to be in, really, with Steve Coogan recently called Greed. Um, had a very small bit part in that, although we had four days in Mykonos filming, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, great film. Enjoyed it and what an experience and what a really nice guy too. Um, and it's something I think we've all learned from the press. You read things about people till you actually meet them. You form your own opinion. Um, but you know what, guys? Keep it up. It's great. And everyone watching, stay strong. Let's get through this together and let's make Britain great again. What a wonderful, another wonderful Simon Cowell. I know. What's going on with the Simon Absolutely Cowell? Absolutely spot on. Looks like him and sounds like him. Where's the 12 million Amanda Holdens we were looking for? <laughs> <laughs> there might be another one of us somewhere out there. You there is, know, there, there is, know. there is. Two little boys called Ant and Dick. That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> but they're both boys. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, we're different. We're called Roger and Rack. <laughs> <laughs> right anyway jokes aside everybody um, we, we, we are um, in awe of Simon Cowell too who is none other than Andy Penfold and as Andy um, is going to tell you right now what he's been up to as well is remarkable greet the movie Wow. Wow. That would have been something to appear on that, you know, abroad and having all the cameras around you and all the lookalikes. Yep. What a wonderful guy then. Andy Penfold, good luck to you, my friend. Yes. And of course, he's met the likes of Piers and Piers Morgan and stuff and said he's a lovely guy. We've met him, he's a lovely guy. Yes, that's very true. A lot of people get him the wrong way. You know something? You rub him up the wrong way. I <laughs> think. Rub them up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rub them up, rub them down. Rub them all around the town. What, what I was going to say is, <laughs> we actually haven't seen that film yet. No, agreed. Mm. No, no, because the lockdown thing happened and, you know, it was a film we wanted to see. And it was the one we were going to see yeah. as well. But we will see it soon. We will, we will. Because there ain't a lot of movies on Sky and Virgin and places like that. So we will see that again very, very soon. So looking forward to that. Yes, fantastic. So we've got lots more coming on the show again next week. Look out for what's going to be happening there. Who are we going to have? Look. Tiggy look, has joined us. This is a magic trick. Yes. The cat appears. Hello. And you've got to remember, we're still at home, so... We're all at home. Lie down. You're in my way. That's there it. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to be the star of the show and the main attraction, but it never happens. <laughs> right. Here we go. We're back again. Yes, we are. Back to normal fame again. Fame, is that it? Okay. Well, if you're watching Morris TV, you're watching Zed and Sapphire. Um, we have got a special lady coming up right now, Anna. Ah, who Anna. Who is an opera singer. Yes, and she can reach these notes really high, and you will love her, honestly. Yeah, and um, we met Anna oh, down the beach, didn't we? Something like a couple of years ago, yeah, I think yeah. it, it must be around. Yeah, yeah, and we've met Anna's family as well. Ah, uh, cat. <laughs> <Just speak. laughs> we've met Anna's family as well and uh, we we see we've seen how truly talented she was and we asked if she would like to um, go in for the open mic that we were judging. Yeah. Open so mic UK. She said yes. And she went on to it and she went through to the regional finals and she done very well. And she is still singing her heart out. Yes. I mean she's got so many songs and she's great. So yeah. all I can say is Anna, yeah. you are fantastic. fantastic. You are a star. So we're going to go over to Anna in a second. She's going to um, be uh, performing her on her video, Bring Him Home, which is perfect for people who 
who have been in COVID-19 in the hospital and they're coming back to their loved ones yeah. and people that are apart from their loved ones when it's all over, this brings a tear to your eye, done it to me as well at one point, I'm not going to cry to you hopefully. It's um, very emotional. Yeah. But over to Anna. Anna, are you there? Link into Hi. Anna. Hello Zed, Safaya, Morish TV. Hope you are doing well. I'm doing very well during this quarantine, staying at home and safe. So wishing you all the best. And the song I'm going to present for you today, it's Bring Him Home from the Les Miserables. Hope you enjoy it. Take care and stay safe. singer and still love her voice she has got a lot of great talent isn't she she has and i hope that you know one day that she gets picked up and she goes on to bigger things on tv it would just be marvelous oh honestly. yes tremendous um but she's on tv she's on morris tv yes you know yes things. i nearly forgot yes anna you're on tv <laughs> and you're on the same tv show as some great stars and celebrities as well so Welcome to Morris TV, Anna. Welcome. And love it. And anybody who wants to uh, follow Anna and see her journey with her music, and she's a, she's also a carer as well, so thumbs up from us and well done. Well done. Uh, we clap for you every Thursday as well as the NHS staff, so you're a wonderful person. Um, and we will hopefully see you again soon, but you'll find Anna on Facebook and YouTube. 
Yes, because yeah. we, we sometimes um, see Anna's husband and that, you yeah. know, and we say hello to him. So Anna's sometimes probably away working just yeah. outside Edinburgh. Yeah. So, yeah. Well done. Hope you're all well. Well done, well done. Well done. And, of course, um, before we get into Captain Beanie, because Beanie's coming back in a second as well, and uh, we'll have to bring Beanie home as well, Yay! back to the camera. Let's get in there. Let's get Captain get Beanie. Beanie on, and then I am going to show you how to demolish a rocket lolly. And in and 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 an aid of I don't know if it's an aid of the NHS because I'll be going to the NHS when I finish it. <laughs> but um, let's go and find out what Captain Beanie's got in store for us. What celebrity birthdays are this week? Oh, let's I wonder. Rubbing my hands with excitement. Over to Beanie. Da, 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 da. Hello there, guess who? It's Captain Beanie here once again at the Heinz Kitchen in downtown Port Albert. How are we, Zed and Sapphire? I hope you're feeling full of beans today. Uh, well, why not? Because today is Saturday, the May the 2nd, 2020, and that means only one thing for Captain Beanie. Happy Big Bean Day to all you celebrities all, all over the planet Earth. And I got some of my uh, celebrity buddy friends. Um, in my Beanie Graham greeting card as we speak. So in no particular order, let's hear it for the one and only movie actor, Big Dwayne Johnson. Big Dwayne Johnson, yes! Also known as The Rock. Not specifically Blackpool Rock, but you know, for the size of him, he's massive, isn't he? Hello Dwayne, I hope you have a fantastic time there in Hollywood land, yeah. Ah, and guess who? We got a big birthday for the one and only David Beckham. Hello David Beckham. I hope all is well now with you and Victoria and all the children there back in Beckham land I guess they call it. And um, yeah so uh, happy big bean day to you matey boy. And then we got a lovely <laughs> sweet singer by the name of Lily Allen. Hello Lily Allen. Um, guess what I just love you dad. Keith Allen, he's totally bonkers, isn't he? Fantastic. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic uh, birthday today, Lily. And uh, guess I can't believe this. We've got another birthday for fashion designer. Donatella Verace. Yes, it's really for Donatella Verace. Oh, I just love those lips. I could kiss them. Mm -hmm. um, Donatella, have a fantastic birthday today. And I went... Specialist Guardian and Broadcaster, Alan Titmarsh. Hello, Alan. I hope you're having a fantastic uh, birthday today with all your little vegetables and your flowers in your garden today. Happy Bean Day to you, Alan. And last but not least, my dear good friend, Jimmy White, professional snooker player. Let's hear it for Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. I hope you're having a fantastic time with all your snooker friends. I'm sure they don't have pot in the odd black, red, pink, green and yellow. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to leave you with a fantastic um, happy bean day greetings. Let me clear my throat first. <sighs> anyway, here we go. Happy bean day to you. Happy bean day to you. Happy big bean day to each and every celebrity around the planet Earth. Happy Big Bean Day to you. Well, anyway, have a fantastic one, everybody. So that's all from Captain Beanie until next week for some more celebrity birthday requests. So it's a case of up, up and away and love to you, Zed and Sophia. Wonderful stuff. We'll have more from Captain Beanie next week, won't we? We will. He's here every week. And if you've missed the previous two shows, get yourself onto our On Demand site or on our Facebook page and you can catch up with episode one and episode two and you can watch it all over again. Absolutely wonderful. With a drink. With a drink <laughs> if you're allowed one. Hot chocolate, anything yeah, you want. Anything you want. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some bubbles later, so I'm going to be enjoying that. It's well, going to go for a bath later, yeah, you yeah. see. Well, I'll watch this all over again. It's going to... Bubbles in a bath? Yeah, bubbles. Oh, right, right. That's people that pass I'm going to drink the bubbles. You're going for a bath with bubbles in it. Because I pass wind in a bath. 
and I might just do my magic trick again. I might disappear. Yeah, so, so better be nice to me. Yeah, that's it. Well, talking about comedy and stuff like that, we're going to be announcing who is on next week in a second. But this is it's meant to be a rocket lolly, but it's not too much of a rocket lolly. Um, so this is a lolly, and although it's been warm as of recent, I'm going to show you how to eat a lolly the right way. Now this is the lolly here, mm -hmm. and what we've got to do is, if you do it right, How long is this going to take? Okay. You'll get brain freeze. This is actually apple and raspberry flavour. Oh. Come on, that's two bites. <laughs> oh, 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 it's going to stop. The white cat behind me. Hessen. Because he can't get a bit. You'll get a bit in a minute. You're not allowed Look to at that. That tastes the most boring. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh numbed up. The head numbed up. The mouth numbed up. Ah. Teeth a lot. And there we are. What's that? There we are. Hold on. Oh, that, was better, that was better than eating the cake that time. Yeah, yeah, that was two weeks ago. But that, oh, that gave me not brain freeze, but gum freeze and everything. And there's no dentist open. Oh, that was a bad move doing yeah, that but then. Never mind. <laughs> I'm here still and I'm alive, ready to thrive, you know, and dive into a hot curry next week and eat it in three seconds. I'm only joking, oh, I'm not doing that. No, that's just, no, <laughs> to the loo more like. <laughs> now, um, we have got a, another musical artist coming up next week. And we're going to show you a little clip of them right now before we say our goodbyes and who's on next week as well. And of course, here's a little clip of somebody. It's a female musical artist. Martina. Martina Cole, is it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, Martina Cole. And this is her, um, let's see, her, her song. She's going to be playing the whole tune next week and as a guest. A very professional singer indeed. Yep. Yes. Here's I a quick clip. Love, I love her. Yeah. Love her. We all do. So here's a here's a little clip of something to look for. Day day, much everybody for joining us that was Martina Cole there and of course remember sh her whole track will be on next week mm -hmm. and uh, we'll have more musical artists on next week more special guests on next week and of course Captain Beanie will be back with us next week again da, on da, episode da, da, 4 da, da. the yes. taped bean seder rummer bean he'll be back next week um, talking to us and about what he's getting up to in the Baked Bean Museum in oh, Wales. Oh, he's always probably. getting up to something. Mm. And also, a little treat for you, we said we're going to announce something to do with Chef John Quill. Chef John Quill, the chef for the best food in the world, is going to be back next week cooking up a storm with a very special dish for you all. And I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm excited to find out what it is. But right it's, on, going chef. To be, it's going to be something that we can all yeah. cook. And enjoy. Yeah. So looking forward to that, Chef. Thank you very much for letting us know you're going to be on this show and everybody will be excited now. I am. Because I'm very excited too. It's great to have our, our regular Chef. You can see he's excited, yeah. by the way. I can tell. Yeah. Of course, we'll have some celebrities on the show next week, as, apart from our celebrity chef and our celebrity beanie and our celebrity too as well. Who else will be on the show? Find out next week. It's going to be great. Remember, we're patrons for the charity, WCMHorseRescueFoundation.com, if you want to give someone at that charity. They're great people, and we are the yeah. patrons for that. And our friends at the Safe Haven Egypt as well, if you want to give some money to those cats and, you know, sponsor them or whatever, it's the same thing, same process. It's all good charities, and that's what they're, it's all they're, about. They're both rescue charities, yeah. yeah. Well, absolutely, absolutely. Well, folks, whatever you are doing after this show remember and tune in next week to Zed and Sapphire because if it's more 
It's always Moorish TV and the cats are fighting in the background. They certainly are. You can hear them. Yes, <laughs> and we're kissing in the front row. No, no, I've got my lipstick on. <laughs> okay. And you've got nummy lips. Yes, I have, with that ice lolly. <laughs> See you next week, folks. Enjoy your weekend and it's Moorish TV. We said. And Sapphire. Bye, folks. Bye. inside the door. The person that you think has every intention. Electricity is passion. So plug in the extension. There is purity from guidance from the heavens above. So open up the heartbeat and start sharing the love.